Yo, what's good? What up? What's what's Goodington? What's up, big fart? Yo, <laughs> this is what he was calling me outside. He's like, yo, it's big fart. <laughs> big yo. fart in the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you say it, say it again. <laughs> Big fart. <laughs> yo. Yo, it's Big Fart, yo, dude. What, yo, what up, Big Fart? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was doing a show in the city a while ago, and yeah. there was like a, I was on the show with a comic. I'm not gonna name his name, but I I, I we're not like friends, friends, yeah. but like we're friendly for sure. And I friendly enough for me to call him Big Fart. Uh, okay. And I was like, like I see him, like, oh, you're on this. He's like, yeah. Uh, he's, I'm like, you're on it. I'm like, yeah. And he, I'm like, what's up, Big Fart? It's Big Fart's on the show. Yeah. And then like, <laughs> and then like after he was like, could you not call me Big Fart, dude? And I, <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. Like it's just you know, like Big Homie, Big Dude, you know, Big Fart. He's like, yeah, Big Homie's fine, but Big Fart. <laughs> He's like fucking. I call Perillo big fart, and he's like, "Why am I big fart? Why am I big fart? You <laughs> call me Rocco. <laughs> call me, call me Stevie P. Yeah, I only go by Rocco. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on, <laughs> not not big fart. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Big Fart's a good name, dude. I like it. I'll go by Big Fart. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Uh, you know what I like when someone calls me. <clears throat> I didn't know that I liked it. We had him in here, but the episode was scratched because I think the audio came out. Oh yeah, yeah. Sean yeah. Powers, the rapper. We gotta get him back. Yeah, we're gonna get him back. Yeah. I hit him up. I was like, hey, I'm sorry. I, he was an interesting dude. Yeah, and uh, we'll have him. We'll have him back on. So you know, it's a lost episode, but yeah. Um, you know, musician. Rapper uh, Sean Powers. We'll have him back on. He was a great guest. Um, he called me Vato. Vato. Oh, yo, that people call me Vato. I'd be so happy, dude. That you know, he's like, he's like, hey, what's up, Vato? And yo, I'm like, like, that's hard to pull off, dude. Like saying that. Like if I said, like, yo, what's up, Vato? Yeah, people would be like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like you're trying this thing out. Yeah, like. How long is this gonna last? <laughs> like, please, yeah, you gotta, Vato. you gotta be a certain type of guy to pull it off. I think he's that guy, though. Yeah, yeah, he. I mean, like a rapper, like definitely could pull it off. You know, he's like it's a Bato. It's like a Hispanic thing, right? Yeah, Bato. I think it means like boss. Boss. I think like a Vato is like the boss of like, yeah, you know, I have like no the idea. like the. Uh, I thought boss was jefe. Mm, I think. El Jefe. I think in pr in professional terms, yeah, boss Jefe. But I think in the drug world, boss is Vato. Oh, I, I get it. I think that's cool, man. Like that's like uh, you know, like when a like a Spanish bro calls you like Poppy. You know, yeah. like dude, like I that like excites me. I've never been called Poppy. Really? No. Yeah. Not like even in just like passing. Not like like even like a sexual thing. Yeah. You know, like there's like certain ones. Like, um, like if like a big fat black lady calls you baby, that makes you feel great. Dude, that makes you feel really good. Mm. It, it's like th there's different, like, <laughs> <laughs> is this ridiculous that I notice this? <laughs> <clears throat> but like, there's like certain things, you know? Yeah, no, there is that like different races have, you know, like like a like a hot, hot Spanish girl calls you poppy, dude. Yeah. I'll, I'll melt, yeah. you know. Even in uh even in like a uh yeah, like even in a not sexual manner like yeah. hey, you want poppy? I'm like, "Oh, she like she respects me." Yeah. Like like a like a Spanish nurse yeah. like when you're in a hospital. Yeah. You know, like, "Come on, poppy." Yeah. <laughs> like, like that. Yeah, it's just like, "Oh, cool. I like that." You know? Uh, I'm poppy. Um, what was I going to say? Poppy Chulo. Poppy Chulo. My uh, I, when I was doing a show in AC recently, and uh, you know they had like vendors there. Yeah. And the, one of the ladies working the hot dog vendor, uh, vendor, hot dog vendor, hot was dog bender, hot dog bro, bender. You imagine that. <laughs> Twenty hot dogs a day. Oh, dude, I've been fucking eating hot dogs. I've been sucking them down. <laughs> you two, know, two bites a dog. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I just shove it in my mouth. I just, I just shove these things. I just, you know, heavy I just, mustard. And I, I just, you know, great poupon. Get yeah, that, get brown, that shit spicy out of here. brown. 
That's right. You get that fucking yellow mustard out of here. And I don't eat them in my house. I, I, I eat them everywhere. I eat them everywhere. I bring them in my pockets on the I, street. I beat them in the car, in the library. Yes, <laughs> in the library. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, even eating, I ain't even reading nothing. <laughs> I'm just eating hot dogs. <laughs> I just eat hot dogs, bro. Like, sure, you gonna you gonna read something, bro? Like Joey Chestnut, he he sold out. He sold out. Like I am the hot dog king, dude. Joey Chet, that guy eats like oh, a boar, dude. He's fucking crazy. That guy, I don't know how you could eat that that much. There's guy, and, and no. he's not like an out of shape guy. No, no, he's not. No, but like you know, what's like the hot dog thing is like popular, and that's like cool, or whatever. Yeah. You know, I find it like kind of gross, mm. but um, because it's just like. Hot dogs and like like water. Yeah, they dunk it in like and, lemonade and, and shit. And like yeah, they like dunk the bread in the water. Mm. It's really fucking weird. But uh, when you look at the other food records, you know, because this is like a lot of like professional eating like, yeah. food records. Like yo, Joey Chestnut like ate like eight pounds of clams or something like that. You know, <sighs> like dude, like imagine that. Ew, that'd be fucking hideous. Dude, imagine the shit you got to take after that. It's probably rancid. Disgusted. Like, <laughs> dude, like, clam shit. You throw out your toilet after that. <laughs> dude, ew, man. Dude, yeah, like, the other food records, like, kind of, like, you know, there's, like, one, like, oh, you know, eat a bunch of fucking hot wings. Like, yeah. that's cool, but, like... Dude, it's like like weird ones too. You I know? um, like I never like you could probably eat a lot of seafood. Seaf yeah, seafood. But you would probably feel horrible after. Yeah, but like you know, certain types of seafood too. You know, like I, dude, I'm not eating like fucking six pounds of oysters. Yeah, dude, I'll th like no. I can't like personally, I can't even eat like that type of shit, like no. oysters and uh, mussels, like the texture. It's yeah. like part of my like autism. It's like a booger in a rock. Yeah, d yeah, dude. I I just can't like the texture. Like I'll start like gagging. Yeah, it's a rock booger. Yeah, dude, it really is. <laughs> and they're just like for, I don't know. They're just like bottom feeders. Yeah, like the bottom feeding fish and shit. Like that kind of grosses me out. You know what I never got? Like you know how like Hooters does these like wing challenge. Yeah, like eat as many wings as you can at Hooters. I'm like, well, then I don't want to do it here. There's hot chicks here. Right. Like if I'm eat, if I'm just stuffing food in my face in front of hot chicks, yeah. Like there's no way they're gonna talk to me. I can't look like disgusting. I try to not look disgusting in front of attractive women. I like, know. You know. What yeah. I mean? <laughs> you know it is weird. Uh, Marissa and I were talking about this because on uh, like the first time I met up with her at Miller's, I was going to uh, Governor's to go hang out for a show. Yeah. And she was like eating dinner with her friend. Yeah. And, like, once I got there, she just stopped eating. She's like, I can't eat in front of this guy. Yeah. You know? And, like, I feel like I'm the, the same way. And, like, this is why I hate, like, taking girls out to dinner on yeah. dates. You know? It's just, like, that eating in front of someone new. Because mm. I, I, I took this one girl out on a date. Uh, we went to uh, Popeye's right yeah. next to fucking... Uh, Solid spot. Yeah, dude. It's a great seafood spot. You know? And it's Popeyes? like... Popeye's? Yeah. Oh, I, I was just talking about the crispy chicken sandwich. No, 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 no. The place next to fucking uh, One Eye Jacks or Nostalgia or whatever. Oh, that crab joint. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is like a hidden seafood spot mm. in, like around here. And like the chick was from Levittown. I'm from Levittown, you know. Like So I, I was like, yeah, let's go here. It's like fucking great food. And, uh, you know, like I was, I ordered like. Uh, like a steak or something. Yeah. You know, and she got like a light salad. That's a... And she made like a comment like, oh, I I like guys that like eat aren't afraid to eat. Mm. And I'm just like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like freaked out. I like ate half the steak. I'm like, what are you talking about? I like I like watching men eat. Yeah. I was like, don't fucking watch me eat. Like, it makes me feel primal. Dude, it, uh, it fucking makes me feel weird, man. It's... Like, um. Uh yeah, dude, I can't I can't eat a lot in front of a chick. Yeah, that's so like the Hooters wings challenge. I got arrested in front of a Hooters once. That, oh yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah, I was doing coke in the bathroom and oh, I got oh shit and they caught me. And then as I'm getting arrested, all the Hooters girls came out and I was like getting cuffed and thrown in the back of a cop <laughs> car. 
And I was like, hey, I'll, I'll be back, you know, tomorrow. Who's working tomorrow? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're, like, hitting on them in handcuffs? They, they, were, they were like, none of us for you. <laughs> none of us want to hang out with you. You're getting arrested. Dude. Uh, it's rough. I, I, I stay away from Hooters. Yeah. I don't know why. I just feel like when I'm in there, I'm like... Like, oh, I'm like a creepy guy. Yeah. You know? it's, it's it's hard to not look. Yeah. Because, like, they know why you're there. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? You know? Because like, you're That's, all... like, the joke. Like, oh, you're just there for the wings. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And the chicks. Like, yeah, obviously. Yeah, it's like, yeah, the fucking chicks. But, like, I don't know. I feel like it's just, like, being at, like, a strip club, too. They do have, they do have, uh, they do have good food. I'm not going to lie. And the, yeah, chick, the chicks are, bad. like, I have talked to the chicks. They actually are nice. I think it's because, like, it's probably a, a nice change of pace to talk to, like, a normal guy. Probably, You know yeah. what I mean? Versus, like, some fucking fat slob who, like, yeah. doesn't see his wife. He's like, hey, my wife doesn't know I'm here. Yeah, yeah. My wife thinks <laughs> I'm at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I sneak in here for the wings. I say I'm at the I, bank. I look at fucking Terry's ass. <laughs> Terry's a girl's name. I say I'm at, I say I'm at the bank. And I yeah. come get a full blown meal here I, for two hours. Course meal. I come home with a hard buzz. And I follow Terry to her car. Yeah, it's, Terry with an eye. <laughs> Terry, so you know, so you know she's hot, <laughs> bro. They're, like you, it, I, that's what I feel like though. And like when I go in there, um, then like the like the the waitress, like I feel like they're like already, uh, like what's the fucking word? I just lost it. But mm-hmm. like they're. They're already like preconditioned to like start flirting with guys like right away, and it's just like hi, hi baby, yeah. how's it going? Oh, you guys are so handsome. Yeah, what can I start you with? You know, like, and they just start flirting with you right off the bat, and I'm just like, like, oh, this is like a strip club. Yeah, you know, like the, I'm designed like this is me, like spending money yeah you know on a girl trying to gas me up when you're 21 like when i was 21 i had one semester where i would go to strip clubs all the time yeah and i was new to it so like when they're like hey handsome and then like oh you're so good looking oh you're in shape and then i was like oh they actually really think i'm handsome yeah i do (laughs) and my my friends were like no they say it to everyone i was like no no i'm i'm different i'm yeah i'm not that guy (laughs) I, you know, it was fucking weird uh, when I was like 21 and like I was like 21 for like a while, yeah. you know, and like I had never been to a fucking strip club, yeah. you know, and I was getting sick. Like I was, I kept telling my friends like, yo, I want to go to a fucking strip club and it just like n- would never want to go. Yeah. And so I went to like my first strip club alone. Mm. And, really yeah that's a move <laughs> Dude, I, I went alone like a fucking weirdo Oof. like after work i was in my work clothes how old are you i was 21 mm. maybe that, that may have been your only saving grace yeah well, i was like a young kid i was just like you know what i'm just gonna go in there fucking have a couple beers see what it's about you yeah. know and like i went to like uh a shitty strip club like i think it was like the gaslight in lindenhurst oh god and it was like you know 5 p.m on like a work day so it was like <laughs> <laughs> it was like not the the a squad you know dude it's uh, uh, a bad strip club experience is- i mean it was like it wasn't bad like i had to see what it was about mm-hmm. you know like and i in my head i'm like yeah friday night you know this you know 8 or 10 p.m. like this might be a lot better yeah you know come with some friends and like have some laughs but, yeah you know it was just fucking weird i don't know what i was even doing i was like <laughs> you know like i was like 21 i was like hey maybe if i tip enough i'll get a blow job yeah you think that <laughs> yeah you think it right because off the you're bat. young and you're good looking you're yeah. like well i mean the, the rules are different for me exactly That's and like you're also like uh kind of like hyped up by like watching strip club shit on tv yeah you know and you're new to them it's a new experience so you like you don't really know like that's like highly against the rules and like you know if you've asked for it you're gonna get fucking thrown out i um i was on that mission too when i was 21 and i was like there's there's gotta be one of them has to think i'm actually handsome like you know they're not right i got it's hard it's hard to get one's number and i did get one's number and she lived like not too far off campus and she always wanted me to buy her shit. She was like, let's go to the mall. Buy yeah. me stuff. And I'm like, I'm 21. Like, what yeah. do you, how much do you, money do you think I have? This is my mom. My mom gives me 150 bucks a week. 
and like I know. that's that's for like food and shit. Yeah, that's like groceries and, and hopefully some beer money. Yeah, yeah. And then so like eventually we uh she's like, "Hey, uh let's come come over to my house." And she didn't live far off campus. And I got there, it was like a really old big ass house like yeah. three stories but it was dilapidated yeah and uh so i get in there and i mean dude there was like 40 fucking people living in this house oh my god it was like naked kids running around it like a crack house like it looked like, it yeah it looked like a family crack like house like a flop house yeah like it was like uh, there was like naked kids running around like the uncle was smoking a bong on the couch and her room was on the third floor. So we got all the way up to the third floor and her room was like just like a mattress with no sheets on the oh, floor God. and there was just like <laughs> cigarettes on the on the rug. And yeah. I, and I was like, hey, I actually got to take off out of here. And yeah, she was like, you caught a weird vibe. I was like, nah. And yeah. uh, so I, I left and as I'm leaving, she was Native American. And yeah. Native Americans hate white people, dude. A yeah. lot, of, A lot of them. Yeah. I met some that that like you know, but I, I mean, don't even think I've ever met like a real like Indian. Can can you can you? I mean, can you blame them? Like we fucked it. When no, you, God, yeah. no. Like the, dude, like once you like like get out of like school mm. and you like research like a little bit more what we did to the fucking Native Americans. Yeah, like, it's dude, like, like it hurt. Like I was uh, like, oh, you're like you're just, like embarrassed. Yeah, you're like oh fuck. You know, because like in school it's just like. Yeah, we pushed those fucking engines back, uh, you know, worse. and and we fucking enslaved them, and it was all for patriotism in America. We had to build this country, Boy, yeah. and we did the right thing. When you talk to when you talk to a Native American about like you know their view on it, yeah. you're like, oof, Dude, this is rough. It, yeah, and uh, so I'm I'm walking out of this thing. And uh, I just got the vibe that like they didn't like me because I was white, and right. they thought that I had just had sex with their cousin, uh, and I had to walk through like three of her cousins. There's like two here, one there, and I had to walk through that hallway to get to the front door. Yeah, and I walked, and they just grilled me like big older dudes. Wow. And I guess I wasn't there long, so like they, I was like, hey, I was just helping her with her, you know, with her, with her homework or whatever, and yeah. they were like. And I was like, all right, let me just, I'll see you guys. And I was just like as polite as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, I think like they would have fucked me Yeah, dude. dude. Like in, in a place like that too, like I feel like it's just like a Venus fly trap. Like you're just going to fucking go in there and like maybe get laid. But while you're getting laid, like fucking some kids like running your jeans pockets. Yeah, you know? I, I was, I mean, yeah, like 21, you're young. Yeah, you you're, don't fucking you're know. Not any, e you're not yeah. even out of school. You're not like aware of these fucking scams yeah you know? that was like that was like i was like wholeheartedly afraid yeah dude like like, like a fucking like real crack house like even when like you're like trying to buy like crack you know <laughs> like you're still kind of like what the fuck like this is like a bad place you yeah. know like at any given moment you could just be like fucking stabbed yeah you know? like those those places are fucking weird yeah but it's funny because I actually I auditioned for something, and the the writer director is Native American, and yeah. she's like she's a lovely woman. She's 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 great. Yeah, you know. And um, then we just had you know back and forth combos, and it was really really good. But um, yeah, like I mean, I'm sure th there are some like I had Native American friends. Like obviously they're my friends, so we're yeah. fine. But uh, I think just like at first, like when they first, if you like meet a new Native American, hey, what's up, Travis? Yeah, there I I feel like. A lot of them are just like, wait a minute. You know, it's like, it, it's weird. Like, in general, I feel like this country is, like, getting further apart with, like, race relations, you know? Like, mm. er, like once you meet, like, a different person from, like a, like, a different race, like, it's just pure stereotypes up front. It is. And I think you just realize, like, listen... We're all in this together, and this this fucking life sucks. Yeah, this life's really hard. I mean, every industry is so saturated. Every you can't find a place to live for an affordable price. Right. Like we're all in this shit boat together. So yeah. we need to just kind of like, like just be a team. Right. Because it. I mean, like the government is is there. I'm not trying to get down this like spooky road here, but yeah. like the government's trying to divide us. They're it, trying to. Dude, they try, yeah. They're trying to like distract us with things and just like wedge things in between us. Right. And like cause problems. You're like, see, point the finger at them. Yeah, because when you're distracted, you don't realize like there's like literal class warfare happening. Yeah. Where 1% of 
the population controls 99% of the money. Yeah. You know, so it's like I, race is like like the easiest one to just yeah. bait people with. Because like, look, he looks different than you. Yeah. You should hate that. And then and, some and you people, know what I think happens too it. is like you have like a bad experience with like a race like maybe early on. Yeah. And then like for the like a long time it takes you like – it's hard for you to forget like mm. that, like, wait, not all of them are like this, you know? I think a lot of it also is like, I mean, like, look at like an actual person who like doesn't like a certain race. They're usually, they're not leaving their town. Yeah. They go to the same three bars with the same eight people they've known their whole lives. <laughs> they're usually a big asshole. Too. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> like, like they, they have other things yeah. that kind of, you know, like, yeah. That so it's like oh yeah like you've never like left your fucking town yeah like, you don't have that many life experiences no wonder you would yeah you know you don't know anything about anything else so like you would you know but some people just want to stay in their bubble which is like I mean yeah. dude I don't know why you would do that dude like I'm I'm from Levittown and uh, in my high school uh, we had one black girl mm. in, in my class like my senior class and uh, you know. I wasn't like friends with her at all, you know. And uh when I got to college, we had like a black dude on the lacrosse team. Yeah. And uh you know, at first I was like pretty fucking like ignorant about like a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And but like me and him kind of like linked up fast. Yeah. Cuz I told him like straight up, I'm like, dude, I don't know like how to be around black people. I like <laughs> I, I don't. Like I I've never met any yeah you know like and uh we became like really fast friends yeah and uh you know me seeing how uh shitty other people on the team were to him yeah and um uh it, yeah dude this guy was a, f a fucking beast he was like six two yeah ran like a four six forty yeah like benching 300 pounds he was a beast like in high school that's insane yeah yeah and like you know we were uh he was like a maybe like a sophomore i was a junior or whatever like i was a year older uh and like i remember one time these Canadians on my lacrosse team, they came up to them, uh, came up to him and he was like, uh, they were like, can you get sunburned? Like, what if he's like, yeah, I'm a fucking human. Yeah. Like, 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 like they really fucking thought like the black people don't get sunburned. And I was just like, I was next to him at the time. I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. yeah it, like, you know, when they laughed, he's like, yeah, dude, I get shit like that all the time. And like, it, it's, it's like, it's fucked up that he's just like, yeah, whatever, you know? Because it's like yeah. he probably gets it a bunch, you know, just yeah. from like idiots. Dude, and then uh, we used to go to this place um, every Thursday called Zoinks. Yeah. It was the best deal in college. You would get um, for like $15, and it would be like a maybe like a two-hour deal. You, all you can eat wings and all you can drink. Yeah. For like 15 bucks. So we'd go there every Thursday. And that would be like dinner for us, you know? Yeah. And uh, this dude, like me and him were in the bathroom. And uh, like these other two kids like came in. And like, dude, right away, they called him the N-word. And like as he, he like fucking zips up and he's beats the fuck out of these two guys. Good. Like right away. He was good. such a good fighter. And then, like, he came yeah, out. Sounds he, like a, an animal, dude. He came out of the like out of the bathroom. Like another guy, like tried jumping on him. The bouncer, like, finally grabbed him. He's like, "What's the fucking problem?" He's like, "These kids call me the N word," and then they got thrown out. Good. It, it was awesome because it's like, what are you doing? Are you and doing? then, like, another time at at the lacrosse house, these alumni came and. Uh, like he had a twelve pack in the fridge, and they just like took all the beers. Like we had a keg, yeah, and it was just like five dollars a cup. And these fucking like thirty year old men just started like stealing this kid's beers, and uh, you know, like again, then the rest of the night they were like racial slurs and stuff. And dude, he beat the fuck out of like four thirty year old men. The full fucking, it was <laughs> that's crazy. What, that's what you get, dude. And I was like, you know, like this was like the first black person I ever met. I'm like, yo, this guy's awesome, <laughs> you know. But like the preconceived notions of me growing up in Levittown with a bunch of racist assholes, yeah. where black people couldn't even get a house until 1985. 
you know, yes. like I had to like get rid of all that. It's uh, I mean, because in in college, one of my main group main groups of friends, they were like they're like hood dudes, they, you know. But like you know, it's crazy when you hang out with hood dudes because. <laughs> You know, we didn't grow up in the hood, so we always looked at the hood like, oh, it's a, like a dangerous place, right. which it is. Yeah. But like when you get to know the people, you're like, they're not really dangerous people. They're just people that were born in like a shit circumstance. Yeah. You dude. know what I mean? Like it's like they don't really have like a like a like a chance. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, especially when you're super young, because everybody's crazier when they're super young. Right. And I remember we were all hanging out, and we were gonna go to Cortica, uh, you know, Cortland versus Ithaca. So they're like, oh, you, your friends live there? I'm like, yeah, I got a house. You can come through. And I came with like four of my black friends, the hood friends. Yeah. And like the whole place stopped when I walked in with them. And then I was like, you fucking doing bringing these people here? And I was like, what do you mean? And then that it came out that that was why they didn't want them there. Right. And I was like, all right, I'm out. And they're like, well, Trav, you don't have to leave. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm going to leave. Because I'm, yeah. not, I'm not just going to like, dude, like, what do you so even talk? What are you weird. talking about, dude? I know. Like. I don't know. And it's just like, you know, like you said, like, it's just, uh, you know, they mm. poor circumstances. Yeah. And like, dude, like, that's what fucking drives me. I, I spend a lot of, like, wasted thoughts and energy yeah. on, like, the luck of the draw of, like, being born into, like, good circumstance. Yeah. You're like, really dude, lucky when you think like, about it. Yeah. Well, not even, you know? <laughs> like, dude, like, I, I was born, my dad was a fucking like blue collar union guy, okay. you know, like Elon Musk was born. His dad owned a diamond mine, you know, like uh, he was born into being a fucking billionaire, a diamond mine. Yeah. In fucking, uh, he's from, uh, South Africa. Yeah, he is. So like, it it really sucks when it's like, you know, you, you're looking at like kids from like Garden City and they're just yeah. born into money. And then it's like, I had to work since I was 16. But you know what? Dude? I get really jealous of that. But you know what, dude? Like, and, but they're like, you're right. There are people born even worse. Yeah. Like, like in the hood, you yeah. know, like dirt poor. Yeah. The hood's, the hood's wild, dude. The hood is like, like. I mean, I think, I think once you start getting your thirties, because they were all, uh, two of them were in, or in, in the Crips. Yeah. So I think like when you're in a gang, I they, they people like yo go body him, like go like go do that. Like people will be like, if you don't do right. that, you're a bitch. And when you're 21, you're gonna listen to something like that. Yeah. You know, and but I think people join gangs because they don't have any framework anywhere else in their life. So it's like it's like all right, well, yeah, it's human nature to want to be surrounded by by like a group. You know what I mean? Like think of like back to tribes. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you're right. If you're not in a tribe, caveman shit. If you're not in a tribe, you're fucking dead. That's a wrap for you. So, yeah. but yeah, dude, it's um, but you know what though? Like being in like maybe not as great circumstances, like it does raise you to be, you know, yeah, tougher and like more resilient. Where you know, if you took one of these kids who was born into like a like a diamond mine family. Say something goes wrong. Oh, we're, we don't work in the diamond mine anymore. Yeah. We have nothing. That kid's fucked. Like, he's not going to be able to recover. Right. He's been living 30 years scot free. So, yeah. You know. Yeah, dude. I don't know. It's all fucking luck of the draw. Yes. Um, so, we had a fucking comedy show. We the did. Other day. We did. We did. Yeah, what did you show. think? It was fun. Small yeah. crowd. Small Terry crowd. Terry McNeely. Put us up and it was it was great it was fun yeah yeah it sucked I thought I was gonna have like fifteen people because uh, mm -hmm. Marissa's fucking friends from work yeah. were all like yeah we'll go to this baby shower and then we'll come after and then like like the day of like Marissa was trying to leave and they're like where are you going yeah and like she's like the comedy show that you all wanted to fucking come to and they're like oh well we're like tired you know like they fucking wake up like go to work all day then they went back to work for a fucking baby shower and then like they were gonna say they're gonna come out to a fucking club it was ridiculous i don't know, like that pisses me off so much. I, have, I have some high school friends that do that yeah and uh <clears throat> or just one in particular honestly yeah. it's just one um He's like, oh, we're best friends. We're best friends. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then like, I'm like, all right, sweet. He's like, what are you doing Thursday? Like, he'll make the plans. And he's like, what are you doing Thursday? Oh, I don't know. What do you, you want to hang out? Yeah. yeah. And then Thursday comes around, and he'll just like not answer his phone. Right. I'm like, it, listen, 
I know we're adults now, so we we get busy, we get tired. That's fine. Yeah. What's what do you? Why do you keep making plans that you're just gonna abandon? I know, dude. It's really fucking frustrating. Um, there was a funny moment at the show, like before the show, mm. dude. I was not feeling good yeah. at, at the show, and uh, you looked all right though. Yeah, no, I I was, you know, I afterwards, like after this funny moment, so, um. I think you went into the bathroom right here yeah. and and fucking uh, so I had to go. So I went in the fucking show bathroom, yeah. dude, and I just had like fucking horrible diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> dude, and I fucking blew up this bathroom so fucking hard. And I was just like, dude, I like trying to like rush because I'm hosting the show now. Yeah. And like Terry never tells me I'm hosting I was gonna say like, the day of. <laughs> He told you like you're like hey who's hosting he's like you and you're yeah. like all right yeah well, you got a list <laughs> dude like and i was just gonna be like whatever like i'll just do my set and then i'll go home and leave like and and i'll just fucking shit at home but yeah. like instead i was like hosting and i was getting anxiety and it was fucking with my stomach so i blew this bathroom up and fucking uh then like I'm like all right just finish before like someone fucking knocks yeah right and like it was an audience member it was just like whatever like I don't you know but it ended up being fucking Michelle Fox oh no and <laughs> like a, like a, like a hot comic yeah I'm like no. oh fuck do we got any uglier comics in here that can <laughs> knock on the door <laughs> yeah and fucking so. She's like, she like knocks on the door, or whatever, and I'm just like finishing up and wash my hands, and uh, I open the door, and she's like, "Oh, hi," and I'm like, "Dude, it's not good in there. Someone just fucking ruined this bathroom," and she's like, "Oh, really?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you don't want to go in there." And I just fucking like, I couldn't even look her in the eyes, and I was just like, "This someone fucking ruined this bathroom," and I was like, "Fucking snaked by her." Did there um, what are you gonna say? Like, I get it. So I should like I get it. A, it's so funny when you're talking about being embarrassed yeah. about taking a dump. Like okay, I've always looked like this my whole life. You've always looked like this your whole life. Like like a loud lacrosse player douche. Like we've, yeah. al we've always like had that look. Yep. Abercrombie and, fucking and asshole. I, and I never knew how uncomfortable that look made people. Yeah. Until recently, I had to take a dump in a bar, and I'm like, all right, sweet. I'm going to go take a, this dump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take this and, and, dump. And I, and I walked in there, and rising about to walk in the stall, like four bro-ass dudes walk in there. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah. They don't even do anything. They're just standing talking to each oh, other. Oh, God. And I was like, I can't take this dump in here now. Dude, yeah. Not in front of these kids. I know. These kids are cool. They're going to make... <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna make fun of me they're the cool kids yeah these kids are gonna make fun of me for taking a dump and i was like oh you probably made so many people feel uncomfortable just by being around yeah dude i couldn't do that in high school i think i actually developed stomach problems because like i know i think we talked about it on one episode but like i saw like you know i went to the bathroom and i was like taking a piss and i saw like some of my friends like all of a sudden fucking with some kid in the stall. Yeah. So like I never wanted to be that kid. Yeah. You know, like they would like fucking wet toilet paper and like yeah. go over the fucking and, like pee on his feet. And, yeah, <laughs> dude, and, like horrible shit like that. <laughs> and I was like, yo, I'm never gonna get no, caught no, lacking. No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I like I would always shit at home. So like, dude, like five minutes before I left the show. Uh, left for the show from my house I was just like oh no and like I didn't have time and like I got here I, <laughs> I I actually popped to Imodium before I left and I was just like oh my god, I, oh my god. dude I felt like such garbage <laughs> but like after I got that out like I was like good to go yeah. you know like it was one of those uh, like things like like the, the horrible way I felt outweighed the embarrassment yeah. You know, but like I was just praying it was an audience member because like I would have made a joke about it and yeah. I would have been like, yo, I fucking yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> ruined your time in the bathroom. Dude, it's because uh, big farting in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, was big farting here? Dude, oh, shit. You could tell I smeared on the walls. I was doing a show years ago in the city and um, yeah, I knew the list. So I like, you know, I was like, all right, like this person is on and then I'm up next. So I'm yeah. like, all right, I have enough time to like take a quick shit. 
And so I go on and the, the chick just bombs and just like jumps off. She just yeah. freaks out and jumps off. And they're like, all right, we're going to keep this show running. You guys ready for your next comic? I was like, fuck, dude. And you I were had, in the bathroom? Yeah. I oh didn't have time God. to wipe my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to go on stage with a dirty, shitty ass. <laughs> And I was like, I was just like, yeah, and just in my head, I was and like. And like, it's just itching. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you can't itch you can get shit oh, on Oh, yeah, no, you get this shit finger, like from ball rats. And I, and I was in the city, and I was like, I just have shit all over oh, my ass. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is so. And I couldn't even talk to the chick. She bombed and left the club. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? Yo, I, I really get mad when people like jump off. It's annoying. Dude, you, I, like, especially you like. Kinda, uh, you kind of had that. Dude, I host. At the show. I host these fucking giggle room shows. Like, I'm pro- I probably host in that room more than any other comic. Yeah. Because I do, like, Keegan and Friends and Terry shows. Yeah. And, like, whoever else books, I fucking host in there so much. You host a lot. And, yeah. And uh, a lot of these shows have new comics, you know? And, like, they usually get five to seven minutes. Yeah. Um, once in a while, they get ten and uh because tens of at, at that like first two years three years yeah like, tens of it's a big chunk of it, time yeah it's tough to fill and uh but like when i'm hosting and i see five minutes i'm like whatever seven minutes whatever if i see 10 minutes i'm like great i get a cigarette break you know yeah you could you could yeah you yeah could do whatever because it takes like five minutes to smoke a cigarette that's it yeah but like if so if people jump off like I could be outside the fucking clubs trying to like suck down a fucking cigarette because I've just been hosting for like the last half hour, you know, yeah. and and it's like they jump off because they're fucking new, and like I'll like yell at them almost. I'll be like, dude, you had like another three and a half minutes. Now, you know? it's like you, you it's like if you feel bad yelling because you were that once. Yeah, yeah. Not, may, not maybe not the jumping off, but like you know having trouble filling a ten minute spot. Yeah, but. It's like you got you got to learn. I'm sorry, you got you got to have tough love because you can't jump off at like all. You have four minutes to go. I'm yeah. gonna jump off. You yeah, can't I, fucking. Do I that. definitely try to help those new comics. You know. Yeah. Like you, um, have to. you know, I tell them like, oh, move the mic stand. You know, like oh, try to stay in the light. You know, stuff that like people told me. Don't you know? scream! Don't scream in the mic. Oh my god, dude, I hate that. That's such a noob move. Like the. Uh, loud is funny shit like it doesn't no, it's it, not. being loud doesn't mean you're funny you know being loud is is annoying for everyone's ears in the yeah room. dude i did it I, no one told me that but i did it once and it was just like oh yeah i think you were the host actually oh really and um i think you may have said something because i was doing a bit at the time where i had a water bottle and i squeezed it out of like anger yeah and it just splashed the people in the front row great fucking joke drive. <laughs> And fucking you're, and you're like, Gallagher and you're like yeah it's, yeah it, you guys want to see me smash a watermelon uh, with my ass <laughs> <laughs> and you were like you were like hey you know Trav splashed you and he screamed at you and I was like and I, I already knew because it sounded so bad yeah and I was like I'll never do that again oh I, I don't mean to make you feel no bad. no it wasn't you like I was yeah. already it was self brought on yeah because uh sometimes when i'm hosting too like i try to uh grab like a little piece of the person's act you know it's it's a good um it's a good starter yeah like you know just kind of like keep it hot like oh this guy fucking said this you know yeah and uh i don't know it's it's like one of the my little tricks to hosting it's a yeah it's a great just like in general like it's yeah. just like if someone says something oh i have something like piggyback off like, oh, I have something to say about what he said. Right. You know, and if it's funny, because I feel like that that first, that first like two minutes, three minutes is pretty crucial. Yeah. If, if you dig yourself in a hole with that. Yeah, it's, it's, dude. I fuck you. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, it's tough to come back. I, I was doing okay. I, I definitely thought I had a good set, but I kind of was losing them at the end with one of my best jokes. Yeah. Does that like knock you on your ass? Dude, it was like fucking with me. But like um, I did mess up the order of my set. Like I, I didn't mess it up. I was trying to close with this joke, okay. which I normally open with. So, yeah, I mean, you, you were doing work up there. Yeah. That's, that's work. 
Yeah. So like it was my uh, would you rather bit, okay. you know, yeah, with yeah, like yeah. the sucking a dick for a million dollars, and and dude, that usually crushes, and uh, they didn't really like it. Yeah, you know, and but like they loved all like the drug stuff I was talking yeah. about, like they the love dating drug stuff. stuff, dude. Like they fucking loved all that stuff that I was talking about, and you know, like uh, then I got to like what i my opener which i was like maybe i should start closing with this because it just crushes you know and dude they just were not feeling it yeah i might try it like one more time and then if not i'm just gonna keep opening with it because like i i need to find a new like closer you yeah. know what hate, i've been closing on i don't think is like strong enough i hate when you like like your best joke, like your best three jokes, do really ba- like you and you're like, okay, these are yeah. these are things I'm gonna say tonight, right? And your best three jokes bomb, but your other jokes that are like so so kill, and yeah. then you're like, wait, huh? Like I don't yeah. even know. Like that just completely, I know, uh, discombobulated me. Like I don't even know what type of people you guys are now. I know, and, and like I'll even tell the audience like if. Uh, like one of my best jokes bomb i'm like that's a fucking a plus joke <laughs> you know like I, I tell him straight up i'm like you're fucking weird for not laughing at that like oh man that's a <laughs> you know like you guys, I, I feel like it's kind of like a douchey thing to say as a comic but like it, but it's like it's so douchey it's funny yeah and it's like true depending you know, on like, depending on how you like deliver it yeah yeah it's like if a joke fucking crushes like 97 percent of the time yeah and it's just like yo what what's wrong with you guys like do you just not like me that um the bit that i close on the, the one that i close on that night yeah it's a great chunk now but boy did that take a long time to perfect like that yeah. was because i knew it would be a closer because it's a ridiculous story and i was just like but it was just like so ridiculous. Like it just, I mean, like, oof. There's yeah. a lot of times I said that story and people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and it's like, oh no. <laughs> it's bad. Dude, we got a couple more minutes. Uh, so what'd you think of the uh, yeah. roast of Tom Brady? I thought it was solid. Yeah. He's a fucking good looking dude, man. He really is. Holy yeah. shit. Dude, dude, sometimes like... Uh, you know, like in my act, I always say like, "Oh, people think I look like a gay Matt Damon," mm. but like, I because I get called like Matt Damon a lot. But the second most person I get, I say like that I look like was Tom Brady. Like, really? Like growing up, I feel like I don't look like these people now because <laughs> like I grew up the beard and shit. But like, uh, dude, like I kind of have a similar jawline to Tom Brady, but uh, you have like, like face structure. Yeah, like here. Dude, but like when like someone tells here? me, like one girl in college said, I look like Tom Brady, I fucking slept with her that night. Because <laughs> he's that fucking good looking. Dude, I get uh, I get Evan Peters, but I get that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's American a good looking dude. Yeah. It's, great uh, actor. He's a fucking great actor. Yeah. But uh, I, I, you, I didn't believe it because obviously you look like this guy. Immediately you're like, no, I don't. Yeah. But then I started watching the show and I was like, dude. Like from a side view, yeah, that's fucking yeah. Imagine, yeah. imagine I get and Tom Holland, I get Tom Holland. Oh, those are solid ones. Yeah, those to solid, get. Yeah. Those solid picks. He um, seems like he'd be a cool guy to chill with, Evan Peters. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, there definitely was some weird moments. Uh, I heard Netflix cut out the booze for Kim Kardashian, like they edited it. The, uh, you, oh, the, the booze. I thought you yeah. meant like the booze. I was like, she oh, didn't no, see, no. I was like, she didn't seem like wrong. she got fucking booed. Really? Yeah, bad. And, uh, they, I heard they, they took that out. Uh, I thought the, we- like, the weird, uh, moment with fucking Tom Brady and Jeff Ross, like, yeah, uh, where he, like, said, like, he- Jeff Ross made the masseuse joke about Robert Kraft and Tom Brady literally shut him down. Oh, when he gets, he's like, don't say that shit again. Yeah. Yeah, I saw and that. No other comment joked about it i oh, thought like yeah, yo that's fucking weird like a professional athlete but like, like yo okay. robert Kraft fucking dropped you tom like he thought you weren't fucking good enough and then you went to tampa bay and won a super bowl uh, I, I mean you never know what was said or behind the yeah. door you know what i mean like there's probably more to the story yeah i mean he probably loves this guy but like that's why i always I, i'm gonna go against the grain here you yeah. know everyone shits on kim kardashian 
I'm sure if you met her, she'd be all right. Like I'm yeah. sure I'm sure she. I don't know. Get, because think of it, as someone who takes as much shit as that, yeah, they're probably they've they've got to be humbled to some degree. You know what? Like when your whole life becomes like a reality show and the yeah. paparazzi follows you everywhere, like you kind of develop like a character of yourself. Yeah, and like you have to. Yeah, so on camera, like you're a different person, and uh, people just think that's who you are. Yeah. So like, who knows if she's a fucking good person or not? I think but, Pete. Like, I think Pete Davidson said she was a good person. Yeah. I. I yeah. mean, I could. You know, imagine it. I mean, she was with fucking Kanye West, that fucking lunatic. Yeah, dude. He's Holy he's fuck. hilariously crazy. Yeah, yeah. He's hilarious. Dude, like his, you <laughs> see him walking around with his wife. She doesn't wear clothes. No. His new wife or whatever. Him walking around. In dude, like, like she just wears like a fucking, like a raincoat, a see-through raincoat. Yeah. And like you just see her tits and her vag and everything. Like. <laughs> She's in like a smock. Yeah, like she jet. just wears clothes. I like, she'll be like wearing like a fucking. He's walking around in rain a boots. smock, <laughs> and then like her ass is hanging out in the back. Like she just doesn't. Dude, it's weird. I don't know if like Kanye says like, "Yo, I'm not like you're not allowed to wear clothes in public." You think it's because he, he wears all the clothes. You think it's cool being that crazy? You think it's fun? I don't know. Like you think he's walking around like I'm having a great time right now. Yeah, I don't know if it's for show though. You know yeah, how much of it? Like, there's definitely something. Like, when you're that crazy, like, I don't think you really know that you're, you're that, that crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, you he, you think everybody else is crazy because he thinks he's a genius. Yeah, which I'm yeah. sure he is a smart guy. Oh, musically, he is. Yeah, because I mean, people that are crazy are usually fucking smart. Yeah, but you know, then it's comes, a thin line. Then comes the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh man. I, his co oh, he's, he's manic bipolar right uh, I, I probably so your highs are highs but your lows are lows yeah horrible um so who'd you think I thought Nikki Glazer killed it on the road she always kills she, it I thought she was absolute best Tony Hinchcliffe was good uh like I, I just I'm sad that guy can't put out an hour on uh. Netflix like his his like material always blows and he's like the number one like roast comic in America. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, the athletes I thought were all garbage. Yeah, What's Drew Drew Bledsoe I thought was pretty good though. Yeah. Um, um, I'm trying to. Think, who he seemed drunk and nervous though. Who was my favorite? Um, fuck, I literally just watched it. Yeah. Um, I I think they really should get rid of the fucking celebrities and like the friends, like the football players and shit like that, and mm. just have comics. Mm. Like imagine they like they got rid of Randy Moss, yeah. who was awful, and then they had like Shane Gillis, yeah, or like you get fucking oh like Big J Okerson. He's a Big, fucking has he has he done one? No, I know, but he's a great fucking roast comic. Dude, he would kill. He would crush one of those. He would destroy. You know, and you just get like, um, like Bill Burr should have been there. Bill Burr he should, should do have one. been there because he's a big Boston guy. Yeah, he's from he's from there. And like, dude, like, who would you rather have roast Tom Brady? Fucking Ben Affleck or uh, yeah. Bill Burr? I don't even know who the the black. Like lesbian girl was Sam J. Sam J. She's a hysterical comic though. She might be, but she did so bad. Yeah, it's, it's that it's, was uh, like really bad set. And like you could have had like Bill Burr. Yeah, like roast this an athlete, dude. He loves sports, and he's yeah. from Boston. Maybe he was busy. Yeah, you know? who knows, man. I mean, Budget, the, only, the only thing they got out of Randy Moss is was I was like, I just want to hang out with Randy Moss. Yeah, it seems cool. I don't know if I want to hear him tell jokes, but. No. Uh, what what was his name? Julian Edelman. All he did was like dick and ball jokes. Yeah, and, like he's just like <laughs> he's just like yeah. Gronk's cock is big. Tom Brady's dick. How was how was Gronk? Uh, dude, I mean, like that guy can barely think. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he has like fucking CTE. He did his day. Yeah, he he's like him. a big dummy. What? Another one is probably great to hang out with. Yeah, he's probably a great time. He's probably fucking nuts. I saw a picture of him like at some pool party, and yeah. he was just sitting there, and he had like two guys arm around two girls. He was in the center, and he was wearing mesh shorts. Dude, like that guy's dick is a fucking destroyer. <laughs> He's got the donkey dick. It was like you just saw the like donkey. First off, it was mid, it was mid thigh. I'm not fucking with you, like mid, mid thigh. thigh. And like, dude, his head was like almost the size of my fist. <laughs> the mushroom. I was like, 
Oh, and the girls are small. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, those girls are going to get destroyed. He's a big dude. You know, dude. you always wonder if that's, like, proportional, you know? Like, big dudes have giant cocks. But, <laughs> like, dude, I like I know, like, this, like, dude who's, like, 6'11 or something like that. And, like, I heard he's got, like, the smallest dick in the world. It's probably regular, but he's huge. No, like, oh, I, small? I, dude, like, from what I heard, like... He was like crying at the bar one time. <laughs> no, no. And like he was like talking to one of my friends and he's like, Yeah, the girls, like, you know, I don't have a problem with girls because like they, they think I'm tall, so they think it's big. <laughs> but it's not. Oh my God. It's not big at all. Dude, like, hey, what are you crying about? <laughs> don't worry about it. It's, my dick's Shut tall. <laughs> My fucking dick is small. I'm 6'11 with a fucking two inch Peter. Dude, I fucking, I take it, they sit down, take a shit, and pees all over the floor. <laughs> I pee on my balls. <laughs> Dude. My dick doesn't reach past my balls. Dude, I push it in like a button. <laughs> it's a little winky. Little weenie, little man. Winky. <laughs> would you kill, if you had, if you had a micro penis, would you kill yourself? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I would, dude. And, and Hands I'm, down. And I and I'm 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 a Catholic man. Yeah. I was raised Catholic, and that's a mortal sin. But I'd have to go to church and be like, Doc, Dude. um, Doc, uh, Lord, Doc, hey Doc, hey Doctor God. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, Jesus Christ, God. I know you guys are up there. I mean, uh, I I I would just go. Maybe I'll go up there and we'll roll this dice again, and then I could be born in another body. The thing is, working. like, I'd have to research. Like, is there a lot of, uh, like, surgery that you can get to mm -hmm. make your dick? Like, did, can you, like, stretch it out? There's like, no way. Dude, a micro is, like, Dude, wait. no, you Google a micro penis. You're it's like, it, dude, it's, like, really fucking, like, <laughs> it's, like, yeah, like, dude, like, the first knuckle. <laughs> it, it's fucking rough. Dude, it. Oh my god! I mean, you probably just have to wear like a prosthetic or something. I would just be like, yeah, dude. I would get really good at fucking eating girls out. Oh, their 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 eat out game is probably insane. Yeah, like the finger finger banging. That's the whole show. Yeah, that you don't have anything else. Yeah, I don't know. Like a girl definitely can't fucking get off on a micro penis. Oh, could she even suck it? <laughs> I don't think so, man. <laughs> Like, yeah, what are you fucking going to do? <laughs> Ew, dude, dude, it's like fucking, like, it's it, like a micro is like what? Like a, an inch or two inches? Yeah, it, like, it probably just looks like a little hole. Spackle that shit up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Spackle it up. Dude, I wouldn't be able to live like that. Yeah, you can't. I mean, you actually no. literally can't. Uh, they they actually did like a, a micro penis thing which was pretty funny on uh, New Girl. You ever watched that show? No, but I know the show. Dude, it's a really good show. It's really funny. Mm. And uh, they like yeah, she was like dating this like really fucking like hot, good looking like model type guy. That's a curse. And it, yeah, he had a micro penis. If you're blessed with those looks and you have a micro penis, yeah, dude. Like imagine girls just throwing themselves at you. <sighs> And knowing, like, your dick is, like, the size of a beetle. <laughs> the size of a beetle. It's like a fucking, like a, a peanut, you know? What would you rather, uh, no, well... Because if your dick's too big, that's also a curse. Yeah, yeah, girls don't like that, bro. Like no, you fucking start bruising the cervix. Yeah, that's um. Yeah. What do you think is like the great, the good, like like eight, like a like a throbby eight incher is Dude, probably. I, uh, yeah, four four to seven. I hear. Yeah, that's what girls like. <laughs> yeah, that's what girls like. I heard. Uh, yeah. You see it on Twitter with like. Uh, do OnlyFans girls like they'll say shit like that? Yeah, um, like porn stars, you yeah. know, because like you start getting like the fucking like nine inch hammer. That's a fucking dude, that's a dong, dude. Yeah, like the girl can't have sex the next day. Like they no. gotta fucking recover. No, also jerking off would be ridiculous. Just oh god, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like that, that fucking be... Drake video where he's just like, <laughs> like that, dude. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. You know what's pretty crazy? Like that when, when like you start having sex, like you and your peers and you're at that age. Yeah. Like you got to be someone's first. 
Right. What, what are you going to do? You're oh going to bang a grown woman? Yeah. When you're 17 years old? Dude, you like fucking... Dude, like I lost my virginity at fucking 13. Yeah. Like you got an eight-inch cock. <laughs> <laughs> Banging a 13-year-old. <laughs> I mean, like, you're also 13. Like, it's not weird. Oh, I, th- I thought you meant, like, like an adult, like no, an adult no, woman. No, no, Like an adult. 13-year-old with an 8-inch dick. Like an adult woman. I think you're the only one that lost their shit at 13, though. No. Man. No? No. I thought you meant, like, an adult woman banging a 13-year-old guy. I mean, that happens, too. That's It's like rape. That's, that's <laughs> fucked, dude. Molestation. Jesus. <laughs> like when you see like when you see like Leo with a 19 year old chick like what do you talk about dude, dude that yeah that's that's weird man because even if it's like just I mean, Seinfeld did it with a 17 year old that's fucked because even if it's like like okay like Leo, if you ask Leo he's like yeah it's for the sex but yeah. like even for the sex like you guys take your clothes off like she looks way better than you yeah and also like the, yeah Leo doesn't look good naked man. no he like, doesn't with shirt off like He's not like like if he went to a he's, he's you know he's getting older like, like if he went to a bar with a nineteen year old like like that conversation you you'd have to be like I shouldn't be doing this yeah like this is like what am I what am I doing here right like this is what are we know. even talking about yeah that that's definitely like a like a fetish you know yeah it's probably something well he also had his think of it he had his childhood ripped from him oh basically he's been yeah. famous his whole that's probably where something goes wrong yeah is where like if you have your childhood ripped from you yeah the childhood actors man they're all fucked up yeah there there's only like a handful that came out okay yeah like, ch- yeah. like jason bateman jason came out bateman, good yeah um, uh jake Gyllenhaal. hall ethan yeah. hawk he came out good yeah, yeah there's a couple would you? But uh, I think that's it, dude. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we can't keep Tony too long. Yeah, no, we gotta go, <laughs> guys. Uh, good talk. We had a serious talk today. I think today was a more serious one. Yeah, yeah. We we went back and forth. Yeah, I like the serious ones sometimes. Yeah, yeah. We gotta do something to show people we have fucking brains and souls. Yeah, you know, guys. We we try to be good guys. You know. Yeah, you know. Follow us always at Trading Water Podcast. Like. Share, subscribe, and uh, I'm at the logic. You I got am, anything coming up or uh, social media? I mean, still working on these films. We just started uh, another one. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Got some funny blooper reels coming out. That'll be cool. Uh, I'm actually, if I just got uh, on Dallas Comedy Club, I'm gonna be there on the 19th, June 19th, 7.30. Awesome. So June 19th, 7.30, cool, I'm going to be at Dallas Comedy Club. If you want to come check it out if you're in the area. If not, just follow me at Trav underscore Grant. I'll throw up shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Peace. See you guys later. <laughs>